So today I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart and a bar graph in Excel using JAWS. So first you want to uh, hit the start key and type an EX for Excel and then hit enter to open it. And then it brings up a list of other things you could do, but you just want a new document. So you just hit spacebar or enter. Space. Share. And it brings uh, you to a new page. So it's going to take you to the very top. And I was talking, but JAWS said JAWS says A1, and that will tell you where you are on the page. So it doesn't really matter what type of data you put in, but I'm just gonna do random things here. So first let's do the bar graph. So first you're gonna put in the X values and then the Y values. So it's gonna go, let's just do A. And then to go down to the next one, you're gonna either do enter or down arrow. And then B. And do it again. C. And to get over to the Y column, you're going to want to do right key and then go two times to the across from A. And let's just do 200. Go down arrow and 50. And the last one is 100. So now you want to actually select that and put it into a graph. So you're going to go down arrow people. to unselect it, then up uh -huh. arrow again, and you're going to do shift up arrow until you get to the top, select, fifth, select and then left arrow to select the other column, select A1, A, B3, and then you're going to do alt in for insert. And, and then we want a bar graph, and so that's C. It's under the column for a column graph too, so you just have to go down to bar graph. This menu where there's like tons of different options, you know, there's 3D or 2D. For now, I'm just going to do 2D. And then there's your graph. So to do uh, a pie chart, you're just going to do the same thing, except a bit different. So we're going to hit delete key to delete that. And it's still going to have the data selected. So we're going to do alt in again. Alt in. And this time we want Q. And again, it opens the list of things you can do. And again, I'm just going to do 2D pi. And then you hit enter. Ribbon. And there's your chart. 100. Excel is actually really easy and helpful it basically uses the same keys as word so i hope this helped thank you